How would the king of beasts fare against the world's largest primate? While the lion is armed with vast might and strength, underestimating the great ape would be foolish. In the unlikely event of combat, these two kings of their respective domains would make an interesting pairing. Before we issue the verdict on who would triumph in this face-off, let's compare the two creatures through their various attributes and characteristics. Hey buddy, Gorilla vs. Lion, it's the ultimate face-off! Have you ever wondered who'd come out on top between a gorilla and a lion? Well, we're diving into that epic battle today. But hey, before we jump in, do me a solid. Hit that like button, share your thoughts in the comments, and smash that subscribe button for more exciting matchups. Oh, and peek into the description box. I've got some sweet deals and surprises just for you. Ready for the showdown? Let's go. Appearance. Gorillas are large, strong, and stocky primates with powerful hands, broad shoulders, forearms that are shorter than their upper arms, and muscular legs. They have dark, hairless faces with big nostrils and tiny, close-set eyes. Mature males are known as silverbacks because of their lower back's gray or silver hairs and pronounced sagittal crest, which indicates very powerful jaw muscles. The crest is possessed by the females of the species too, though it isn't as prominent as on the males. Lions have long been revered as representations of valor and toughness. Their muscle-laden torso sits atop a set of four short legs and is topped by a large head. The lion's coat can be buff yellow, silvery gray, reddish, or dark brown. The tail tip normally has a tuft that is darker in color than the rest of the body. Since lions are sexually dimorphic creatures, a grown male is unmistakable for the thick mane that encompasses his head, neck, and shoulder region, as well as continuing down to his belly where it joins a fringe. These manes are not simply a decorative attribute either. They actually make the male lion look bigger and more intimidating to potential rivals. Size Gorillas and lions both fall within a relatively similar weight range between 300 and 500 pounds, though their females generally only half that size. When standing on their feet, gorillas can reach a height of five and a half feet, or 1.6 to 1.7 meters, which makes them comparable to average humans, though the gorillas are more bulky and far heavier than their human counterparts. From the top of their head to the start of their tails, lions tend to be about six to seven feet in length, 1.8 to 2.1 meters, though the tail itself typically adds another meter. At shoulder height, lions average about 1.2 meters. Females are about one and a half meters long, with a 0.9 to 1.1 meter shoulder height. Geographical residence. Gorillas are almost always found in the regions of Uganda, Rwanda, and the Democratic Republic of Congo. However, some gorilla subspecies reside in mountain rainforests at 1,500 to 3,500 meters in elevation, as well as even higher ones, 2,500 to 3,500 meters, in bamboo forests. Lions can be found widely among African sub-Saharan regions, roaming grasslands, open woodlands, and scrubs, though they also reside in some parts of Europe and Asia. Behavior Gorillas live in families led by a large dominant male, the alpha, generally consisting of about 40 members. The alpha will coordinate leave nesting, eating patterns, and establishes a range where his family is permitted to roam, generally of about 16 square miles. Many of their behaviors mimic human ones, which makes sense since these creatures share 98.3% of the DNA makeup with their human cousins. Lions also live in families, commonly referred to as a pride, that can consist of as few as two and as many as 40 lions. In almost all situations, a pride will have three to four male adults, a host of lionesses, and their cubs. Lions fiercely defend their well-defined territories against other lions who happen to intrude on them. Sound Gorilla communication is fascinating utilizing an array of communication methods, including hand gestures, body postures, and sounds. <coughs> 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 
when they wrestle around, play chase, or tickle one another, gorillas emit a sound resembling human laughter to a degree. They also grunt, roar, growl, and scream. Growls are generally reserved as intimidation tactics for intruders warning them to steer clear. Screams typically happen when a gorilla is angry and are sometimes paired with chest-thumping motions. This is another maneuver of communication, also usually reserved for intimidating foes. Grunts are either made by younger, immature gorillas, as well as a sign of satisfaction during mating season. The lion's roar is the stuff of legend. It is incredibly loud and would be able to drown out a gas-powered lawnmower 25 times over. These roars can be heard as far as five miles away. So if one was to happen next to a human's ear, that person would almost certainly be deaf, according to research. But roaring loudly is far from the only sound lions make. They also grunt to assert dominance, purr, and meow when they wish to express being content and snarl when a male lion is displeased with the behavior of another member of the pride or to flaunt their superiority. Diet A gorilla's diet is largely dependent on its subspecies. While some enjoy finding and breaking open termite nests to feed on the larva, most maintain a vegetarian diet of bamboo shoots, fruits, and stems. Lions sit atop the food chain, having no natural predators. The lionesses do the lion's share of hunting, preying on a host of large animals, including zebras, antelopes, and wildebeests, though males lend their assistance when the sought-after prey is sizable. Lions are perfectly aware that most of their prey can outrun them in a chase, so they use teamwork to lure prey and ambush it into capture. Body and Bite Strength Gorillas have immensely powerful jaws, which are made stronger by the presence of sharp, lengthy canines. Their bite force is enough to grind roots and bark that constitute a large portion of their diet, at a significant 1,300 pounds per square inch. The canines do not contribute as much to bite strength, however, as they do to being an unnerving sight to potential threats and are more of an intimidation tool than a practical one. By comparison, the lion's bite is much weaker than a gorilla's, measuring only 650 pounds per square inch. Perhaps it is no coincidence that lions hunt in packs. Compared to humans, however, the lion's bite is quite strong, since humans have a bite force of a mere 162 pounds per square inch. Speed if you are being chased by a mighty gorilla, you better hope there are wheels assisting your getaway because the massive beast can reach speeds of 30 to 35 kilometers per hour or 20 to 25 miles per hour. Lions can run significantly faster, reaching uncanny speeds of 80 kilometers per hour or 50 miles per hour. But there is a catch. Lions are notorious for a lack of stamina, so while they can run very quickly, it can only be in short bursts, after which they need to recover for a significant amount of time. Aggressive nature. In terms of aggression, both species can be aggressive, but that doesn't mean that they're aching for a fight either. Gorillas in stable groups rarely exhibit severe aggression. They mostly use their intimidating canines to scare away intruders. In the case of those intruders being human, the sight of a peeved gorilla is enough to make them run. And while intruding alpha males will put up more of a fight, it's also rare that this occurs. Lions can be quite aggressive as well, though they are the laziest of the big cats. That notwithstanding, they still average a human kill count of around 250 annual deaths. Gorilla versus Lion Who would win? There is no doubt that a battle between these two prominent royalties of their species would be a fierce and gruesome fight. Gorillas have the jaw strength advantage. They are stronger, bulkier, and harder to take down. A few solid hits from a gorilla's forearm can put down even the biggest lion. While gorillas are pacifistic by nature, when spooked, threatened, or attacked, 
they will certainly do some serious damage. With that said, the lion is not a top of the line predator and the king of beasts for no reason. Lions are well equipped and conditioned to be killers. They have muscular bodies and sharp claws that can cut through the hard to penetrate hair and skin of even a huge silverback, causing notable damage. However, gorillas are more intelligent beings and are willing and capable to use weapons, including bark and branches from a tree, as tools in the fight. In reality, this battle could go either way. The likeliest scenario, though, is that the gorilla will use its intimidating presence and size to humble any ambitions of a lion to attack in the first place. If it comes down to it, the gorilla can lift and throw things at the lion to thwart any attack attempts. Now, if a gorilla was to be hunted by a pack of lions, the story would be much different. One-on-one, -on -one, however, the silverback is likely to come up victorious.